Sir, Magneto desecrated the Statue of Liberty. What is this country coming to? Captain Rogers, I will personally oversee retrieving Lady Liberty and put her back together. You have my word. If Magneto is involved in this thing, I'm betting he wants that nuclear core to make Asteroid M operational. Doom must be building some space-based weapon and he needs the transport. You ready, Captain? Good to go, sir. So long as the ever-loving blue-eyed thing here will lend a hand. Sweet Aunt Petunia, I'll lend you both hands, Cap. It's clobbering! Not quite yet. Wait until you get there. Now get to the flight line. Black Widow has arranged transport. Get to that plane as soon as you can. We need you to reach Asteroid M before Magneto does. Unfortunately, little intelligence exists concerning this mysterious island. For some reason, it doesn't appear on our maps, and we have very good maps. Lots of vegetation and some evidence of military structures, but that's about all. and go landing, boys. Why land at all? It's more fun to jump! The package has been delivered, Director Fury. Lego Marvel superheroes walk through. This is the 12th level, I think. It might be the 11th. I don't really know. I'll have it figured out when it's uploaded, of course. This one you have to play as uh, the Hulk and also Captain America. And I think you get to play as someone else near the end. I'm trying to remember, but maybe not. <laughs> it's been a couple of days since I played this level, so I don't remember everything about it. So right away, the Hulk is stuck in the ground, and you have to figure out how to get him out. And there's really no indication, but what you need to do is just destroy basically everything that you see and get rid of some of these plants here, some of this, uh, this palm tree. Just hit it a couple of times and then destroy some things over to the right. You'll also want to get rid of those plants on that wall there because the Hulk will need to break it open pretty soon. And you can try to ground pound around the Hulk, but none of it really will work. Uh, knock down these plants too that are on the wall that will be very important for what you need. <laughs> and it's kind of cool that Captain America's shield can just be thrown all over the place. 
And then finally get rid of these last set of bricks, and then you'll kill the spider, of course, because everybody hates spiders. Get rid of this plant, and then you'll be able to build the object that you need to free the Hulk. And this is one of the few uh, buttons that you actually have to step on in this game. So just step on it and then jump up and down on top and that will eventually... Okay, he's not the Hulk, he's the Thing. Wow, I'm stupid. Anyway, eventually the Thing will be freed once you step on it enough. Break open the wall and then you can continue. And of course, enemies will drop out of literally nowhere. I mean, where did they come from? Well, I guess they could have grappled down from the base they have up here, but I pretty much just ignore them. Use Captain America's shield to break that gun, and then you're going to need to throw that rock with the thing, not the Hulk, and uh, throw it at the wall so you can break the generator. The electric enemies are being very pesky, so... Anyway, switch on over to the thing, pick up the rock, and then try not to get knocked off. That's why I hate the electric guys, because they knock you back, and they stun you, and they're just really annoying. Anyway, throw the rock, and then you'll need Captain America to throw his shield at the shield switch. And now you can get past the electricity. So this level is pretty fun. I was actually uh, surprised at how good it looked, like just this whole jungle type of theme. It always looks good when you can throw in a lot of colorful looking plants and uh, fauna and whatever else they have in jungles. And it's just, you know, the waterfall there looks, uh, looks like pretty good water as far as the LEGO game goes. And just the views in this level I think were probably some of the best in this game and that's not really saying a whole lot because like I said it is a Lego game but it did kind of surprise me how good this looked and it reminded me of Lego Star Wars when you played on Endor and you had to do the speeder showdown now oh, that was fun so anyway just break open this wall with thing and then uh, build it with Captain America because big people cannot build Lego objects, their hands are too big and fat. And once you build the switch all you have to do is turn it and then this will raise the bridge, the enemies being very very pesky. And then walk over the bridge and you will be in this place that has more electricity and also another crane. These guns are pretty annoying, but as always, just block their shots with Captain America's shield. Jump on over here with Captain America. There's a couple of things you're going to have to do to uh, get the thing over. So first, hit his, or throw his shield into the switch. That will stop the electricity. And then you'll want to climb up the ropes that you see there to the right. See the golden wall there that you can't actually do anything about unless you're in free play because you don't have a character that can cut through golden walls. And there's also a spot to dig which you can't dig either so... Okay, great thing, you just fell off the edge. Anyway, this level is really good at giving you, teasing you with things that you can't do unless you're in free play. But that's really the whole point. It's supposed to get you to go back, play the level, see the collectibles, see what other secret stuff there might be. And then use the thing to get up here and pull open the door. Now you can walk up the path and around the rock. And you'll be getting close to the boss. The boss in this game, or not this game, this uh, level is actually going to be Magneto. But it has a terrible, okay, I don't know about terrible, but it has a, like, a blatantly obvious uh, comic book cliche. And you'll see what I mean if you don't already know what I mean. You'll see what I mean when the boss happens and then you see the cutscene. <laughs> So the new enemies that you'll be running into on this island are actually dinosaurs and they remind me back in like the 6th or 5th grade when I would play on the LEGO website and I'd play this weird dinosaur racing game that I could never beat because it was way too hard 
I don't remember what it was called, but those dinosaurs were like an instant memory bank for that type of thing. It was really, really weird. And I kind of never paid attention to Lego dinosaurs that much other than that Lego game. But, you know, they're not tough enemies. They're as tough as everything else. And especially if you use Thing, you can just ground slam and kill them all in one hit anyway. So you'll see the broken plane that is kind of shattered here in this area. And you'll just want to uh, destroy these Lego bricks down on that side of the platform and then build them with... Uh, Captain America, switch to the thing and pull open the door. And once you figure out what to do with the door, I just threw it off into the distance. You can come in here, use thing to break open this stuff. And if you hit enough of the Lego bricks, you'll be able to build the object that is here in the middle. And I think this is like a can't, yeah, it's like a rocket type of thing. So just jump on it. Sadly, you don't actually get to control it. You didn't get to drive too many vehicles inside the levels in this game. Most of them were, like, the only vehicles you can drive are in the overworld. So I guess in a way that's a relief because the vehicle controls are definitely not the best, but in another way that's also not a relief because it's not that fun. So here you need to switch back to Captain America and climb on the pole that is there on the bridge and you can see where all the studs are, but I'm just trying to get rid of some of the enemies. And sometimes you can jump off of a pole so you can uh, move quicker over it instead of shimmying all the way across, but that does not work with this pole because something is blocking you from jumping, probably the bridge itself. So if you do jump, you'll more than likely fall off like I did. So just slowly shimmy your way across, drop off at the other edge, then you'll have to get to the uh, other entrance of the bridge so you can actually let Thing go over. And of course you're going to need Thing again to open up this wall, but to make your life easier, take a couple of seconds to uh, reflect the bullets back at the cannons. Pull the lever, and switch to Thing so you can open up the wall. Slowly pushing Captain America out of the way. <laughs> and then you can uh, throw the wall at the dinosaur or not throw it at the dinosaur. And you're also going to need Thing once again to pick up a Lego object to throw at that big gaping crack that is there. So I had someone ask on a uh, YouTube message ask actually how can I tell how close I am to the end of a level and I was a little bit like I was confused because it was kind of a weird question but if you really want to know how close you are to the end of a level you can just pay attention to that uh, true believer meter that's at the top and if it's closer to the end like if it's almost filled in then chances are you're near the end of the level or you can just find a video and check that way I don't know. <laughs> ah, you've arrived just in time to see me and my island rise. He's quite the showman. And he's got a flying island? Is this some sort of Hydra trick? Like I know. Just hang on! Captain America, Thing, Charles Xavier sends his regards. Storm, hey, a weather goddess ain't such a bad trade-up, especially for Johnny. So you do get Storm after that cutscene, and she will obviously be useful and also necessary to 
uh, beat this area and then Magneto, which will be the boss uh, near the end of this level. So first things, just break open this wall and then build the electric switch with Captain America or Storm. Switch to Storm and then uh, charge up your lightning and zap the switch. Once the door goes down, you'll be able to move in, and it's actually pretty fun playing a storm, especially if you push and hold B, I think it's B, uh, and then you can start floating in the middle of the air, and just using her lightning and her storm, her uh, storm abilities, her little tornadoes to kill the enemies. So here you'll have these giant lasers shooting at you. I guess they're actually not that big, I should say these deadly lasers shooting at you. And if you uh, use Captain America's shield, you are invincible, but that doesn't really do much because you don't have anywhere to reflect them to. So what you need to do is switch to the thing or use someone else to break these Lego objects and break the one that's back here so you can build the, or use the switch with Captain America and then you can reflect the lasers back to the laser machines. Controls are very slow for this, so that's not my fault. That's the game's fault. Once you get both of them, you'll be able to relax a little bit more, not much more. And then you can build this electric switch, which you will once again have to use Storm for. And now the Magneto boss fight, and also Rhino. Now there may be a slight spoiler alert, but this isn't actually Magneto. I forgot what her name was, I think it was Magenta, but that was the comic book uh, cliche that I was talking about earlier. So while you do have to fight Rhino and you do have to fight Magneto, you will be fighting Magneto later and you will actually really be fighting him later. So uh, don't get too excited if you care that much about fighting Magneto. So anyway, Rhino at first will be one, uh, ramming randomly around the arena here. And you want to try to get him to destroy these Legos in the middle, and you can also use Thing and Captain America and Storm to destroy them. And you're going to want to build this huge, um, this really big world looking thing, which is what I think the Rhino is actually going to end up uh, running into. So if you try to switch to the Thing and then uh, hit Rhino, nothing will happen, he'll just kind of brush it off and then run back into you. So uh, build the giant thing in the middle, try to avoid Rhino's charging attack. Uh, normally you're invincible when you build Lego objects, but it seems lasers and things that charge at you ignore that rule. So you build the giant pumpkin and all you have to do is wait for Rhino to actually ram into it. Once that happens, you can switch to the thing and go and fight the rhino itself. Once you knock him off, Magneto, well the fake Magneto, will show himself and this will be a classic three-pronged boss fight, I'm gonna call it, where he doesn't attack, you have to dodge it or counter it and then uh, you do that three times and then you win. So first you just need to wait for him to get this anvil uh, going after you 
And after it slams down the ground enough of times, uh, after it slams on the ground enough times, is what I was trying to say, <laughs> his weird mag uh, magnetic Legos around the anvil will break off, and then you can actually build the anvil, and then you'll be able to throw it at him with Thing. And you just have to do that, again, like I said, three times, hit Magneto, and that will be it for this level, and also this boss fight. See that a rise in elevation does not equate to a rise in one's IQ, Benjamin. 